last week I showed you my updated Calathea collection and I mentioned that I was treating three of my Calatheas for spider mites. You can see what they look like here and you can see the damage that they do here. I got a lot of requests for people wanting to know how I was systemically using neem oil in my Calatheas. Quick warning, I'll show you, but I can't guarantee you it'll work or that it won't harm your plant. So be careful before you replicate this. I got the idea to do this from a scholarly article where they went in and they looked at how does neem oil, is it systemic when you apply it to the soil? This, this study does confirm that it is. It also, uh, in concert, is looking at how it affects spider mites. And what they found is that within three days, they could detect neem within the stems and the foliage of the plant. So it did uptake through the, re the roots and become systemic. They confirmed that. And within about 10 days, it reached a peak concentration in the stems and the foliage. And there was a statistically significant reduction of bioactivity in spider mites. So my idea was when I found spider mites, I am going to drench the soil with a diluted neem mixture. And I did this by using one tablespoon of neem oil and one gallon of water, mixing them up as a soil drench. And I make up neem oil usually, I'll, you can see the date I had on that. I use this old miracle Grow measuring spoon. And then you can see the mixing instructions here from the manufacturer of this brand of neem oil. I'm cutting it in half. I'm diluting it because calatheas are very sensitive. And again, before you try to replicate this on your own plants, I know that spider mites are destructive. But calatheas are very sensitive. And so when you're applying things like this to the roots, you need to really think about, am I willing to take the risk that I really burn my plant up or even that my plant doesn't make it through this treatment? I love my Picturata Argentia. It is one of my favorite Calatheas. They're all my favorites. However, I don't want to lose this plant. It's, it's actually really hard to get where I live, and I was lucky to get this plant. It's grown. It's bloomed for me. It just bloomed in January. It is an amazing, gorgeous plant, and I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to take this diluted mixture, and you see me? I am soaking this until it's running out of the bottom and really treating it. And then I go in and I even do a topical spray. Right, I did find a couple of leaves that I felt like were a little suspicious. I removed them and I again sprayed all of the plant. So this is its second treatment with the soil drench. The first one was March 7th. This was today on April 11th. That's when I filmed this. And so how do I keep my, my eyes on my calatheas? When do I suspect spider mites? They're very hard to see until they really are in there and doing damage. They're nyctinastic calatheas, and they're also heliotropic. And so that means they raise their arms at night. They're, they're you know, they put their leaves toward the ceiling. They're nyctinastic. During the day, they drop them down because they're heliotropic. When you don't see that movement in your calathea, when they're down or they're up all the time, check the backs of your leaves. I also applied another topical spray before I did topical neem oil. And this was really just to take a first run pass at the spider mites and to protect all of my other plants that had no signs or symptoms, right? And th thankfully none of them have developed any signs or symptoms, but I, I got a 20 ounce bottle and I filled it with distilled water. I added a third teaspoon rosemary oil and two to three drops of dish soap. This dish soap isn't really soap, it's detergent. So be very careful using it. It can certainly strip your leaves, but I sprayed all of my calatheas down They've all had a neem oil soil drench. So when you, if you saw my collection video and if you didn't, I will link to it below. You'll know I've got upwards of 17 different types of calatheas in my house. Every single one got treated with a neem oil soil drench. They all got the rosemary spray and then they've had a follow-up neem oil topical spray. And this is preventative because spider mites are very common in my area and they certainly do attack interior plants. And knowing that, I'm just making sure that these aren't somehow spider mites making their way into my house. If, if that's what's going on, then I'm gonna make sure that everybody is systemically ready and prepared to fight off any infestation. So I hope that that answered your questions. Again, please listen to my warning. This can certainly harm your plant, even though it's a diluted neem oil mixture. So keep that in mind before you try replicating it. However, I hope that sharing the scholarly article with you kind of explaining um, some of the studies that have been done to look at whether or not neem oil can become systemic in plants was helpful. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Until next time, 
Be well and take care.